IZZ is equal to 88. Y now, okay, so the Y distance is from, from here to here, right? From the centroid to here. This is your Y now, so that is equal to 3 plus 1. Right, so if you look at the centroid from here to here, right, so this is your y, so it's 3 plus half of 2 is equal to 1. So this will be equal to 4 times by 9.397 power 3 divided by 88. So it's going to be positive 427.136 PSI. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do. is you want to find the orientation of the neutral axis. Okay. So we are going to use this formula. Okay. So the, the formula states that stress X The formula says that stress X is equal to MY over IYY Z plus by MZ over IZZ Y. So at the neutral axis, right? We know that stress X is equal to zero. So therefore, MY over IYY Z. Okay, by right, if you were to memorize the formula down here is a minus sign. Okay, this is a minus. So minus MZ over IZZ Y, the whole thing will be equal to what? Equal to zero. Okay, so let's draw. Okay, so. Let's draw the analysis or let's draw the cross section. Okay. And and I want you to I know this is late. Okay. I should have taught this earlier. But I want you to pay attention. Okay. You already you already already know one part already. Okay. So if this is our structure. All right. And then we will have two axes. So the axis that we have right these are our axis So this axis y and z were always have parallel feature with the structure or perpendicular uh, feature okay so if this is if this is your y direction right it has features like this they are parallel this is your z, z direction it has features that are parallel okay and the y and z will rotate the y and z axis is reference from the structure. So i.e. if the structure were to rotate, y and z will also rotate. Why? This is because of how to find the second moment of area. It's easier to find second moment of area looking at y, z in this orientation than Okay, could you imagine how complicated it is if we are going to find second moment of area at this orientation? Could you imagine now if I rotate the axis? Okay, so this is my Y prime and this is my Z prime. I want to find my second moment of area relative to my Y prime, Z prime. It's going to be difficult. It's not impossible, but it's going to be difficult. Okay, so the Y and Z axis is referenced from the what structure, okay? So if the structure were to rotate, Y and Z axis were what? Will rotate. You have to keep this in mind. Okay. So remember, we also have our 
uh, moment. Right? So what did I tell you about this moment? The moment is going to be oriented from theta. Right? So we know this relationship that we, we already know that you guys are really, really familiar with is that this will be your MZ, right? This is your MZ. And the next one, this will be your MO. You're, you guys already know this. Knowing part of this is part of the better one already. This is your MY. And we know, right, that MY is good to M sine theta. And MZ is going to M cos theta. And we know for both situation, theta is positive when it's going what? Clockwise. Okay. Right? Then I'm going to introduce you to another uh, line. This line over here, right? is the position of our neutral axis. Okay, this line will be the position of our what? Neutral axis. And this axis will be also be from point what? Z and we're gonna call it pi. Okay, so pi is the orientation of the new axis right and clockwise is what positive okay so if i'm going to if we are going to pick a point over here Okay, I'm going to pick a point over here. Okay, and this point has a distance uh, Z and Y. So what do I mean by that? So we have a certain distance down here. This distance is our Y. And then we also have another distance over here. This distance will be your Z, right? So if we have a relationship, okay, tangent pi, so tangent pi is equal to Y over by what? Z, okay? So I'm going to call this equation number uh, one. I'm going to call this equation number two. Okay. So we have we have come up with two relationships. So from equation number one, this is this is not difficult math. Okay. From equation number one, we have this relationship. We have a relationship where we have MY over IYY Z is equal to MZ over IZZ Y. Okay. So we can rearrange this equation. So you have Y over Z will be equal to uh, MY over IYY multiplied by IZZ over MZ. Okay. So from here, we know that MY over MZ multiplied by IZZ over IYY. This will be equal to tangent what? Tangent pi, right? And then we have note, we have this relationship, right? Note that we have my is equal to m sine theta and mz is equal to m what? 
cos theta. So when you put it in, you have m sine theta over m cos theta, right? i z z over i y y is equal to tangent pi, right? So you can cancel this, cancel this. You have what? Tangent theta multiplied by i z z over i y y is equal to tangent pi. Okay. So that is the relationship. So for if this, you can find the orientation of the neutral axis. Okay. So coming back to our problem where we know that I, Y, Y, right? So I, Y, Y, we found out that it's equal to 64 inches to power 4. I, Z, Z is equal to 88 inches to power 4. Theta, okay, so if you look at theta based on our problem, right? So if you look at our theta, where is our diagram, right? So it's oriented in a clockwise direction. It's 20 degrees, so it's going to be plus 20. So all this number, we can find our tangent pi. So therefore, tangent pi will be equal to uh, IZZ, 88, divided by IYY, which is 64. And then this will be tangent, uh, how many degrees? 20 degrees, positive 20. Okay, so sorry. So it's equal to be multiplied by tangent, positive 20 degrees. Okay, so, so from here, <clears throat> pi will be equal to tangent 20 times by 88 divided by 64 inverse tangent is going to be 26 positive 26.586 or 26 point sorry 26.6 degrees let me do it again so tangent 20 times by 88 divided by 64 inverse tangent is 26. So what does this mean? Okay, so what does this mean? So if we, I'm going to use this diagram over here, right? <clears throat> right? So this is our diagram over here. So our neutral axis, from the z-axis will be oriented this way. Okay, so this is the this is the orientation of the neutral axis. I'm just eyeballing this, okay? Because there's 20, maybe it's too much. Maybe I'll do up to here. So from here, this orientation over here, right? This is where it's going clockwise. Remember, I told you what clockwise is positive, right? So this is where you have 26.6 degrees. And this is the position of your uh, neutral axis. So anything that is in, oi, sorry. So anything that is in this range over here, Right, anything that is down here will be so if you look at A and B, right? So if you look at stress A and stress B, they are all in what? Compression. Anything is in the opposite direction over here. This will be in tensile. So that's why stress D, right? The stress at point D that we found earlier is in what? Is in tension, whereas uh, B and A are in what compression. So, so this is the way to uh, determine the position of the neutral axis 
one, one uh, of a new text is based on unsymmetrical loading. Okay, based on unsymmetrical loading. Okay, so I mean, I did not memorize this at all. All these are all what deriving. The only thing that I remember is the angles anti-clockwise has to be equal to positive, and what does it mean by pi? Okay, so these are all derived. I I don't have notes for it. Okay, these are my notes. My notes did not. I did not even look at the notes. Okay, I just derived from fundamentals. Okay. Anyone, any questions so far? Are we okay? Okay, so the last part, you know what? For your term test, I'm going to stop here. Okay, the last part is just way too rush, pointless. So I'm going to end my lecture here. So the term test two will be up to this topic. Before I go, anyone, any questions, please? Thank you, anyone. Okay, so I don't hear any questions. Yes. Um, can you um, can you just repeat what uh, in the beginning of the lecture you said about the reviewing of the uh, term test because I joined a little bit late. Yeah, it's okay. So what what is going to happen is uh, on July the first. Actually, I'm going to review our term test today. Okay, but. I think I'd rather teach today because your term test is in July 8. Yeah, I don't want you guys to watch video on this. I want you to learn from here. So July the 1st, I will send up a, a, a schedule on Avenue to Learn. I'm going to put up your student number, what time you're meeting with me to review your term test. So that's it. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, so those of you that once I, this is up, one, those of you that don't need to review your term text, you also let me know. You also let me, uh, yeah, I don't need to review it, okay? No, there'll be no class, okay? It's just a review. If it, uh, Review of your term test. If, if there's a class, uh, I might get into trouble, okay? I cannot have a class on a public holiday, but I can have a review or a short meeting, okay? Anyone, any other question? Will there be another quiz? Well, yes, there'll be another quiz on, on what I'm teaching today. Any other questions? If not, thank you for your time. So sorry about the breakdown earlier, okay? It's my computer. Crappy one. Thank you so much, then. Bye-bye. Thanks, Nick.